Prince Harry recalled the moments when his wife Meghan Markle gave birth to their daughter Lilibet in his memoir Spare. Harry wrote, When the doctor said it was a question of minutes, I told Meg the first thing I wanted was for the little baby to see my face. We knew it would be a girl. She agreed and pressed my hand, he wrote. The report further claimed that with the doctor overseeing the whole thing, Prince Harry explained how he helped to deliver his daughter. Prince Harry then handed her over to Meghan Markle, who told him she'd never been as in love with him as she was in that moment, so she could do skin to skin with her daughter. Many royal fans believe that Archie and Lilibet were conceived by in vitro fertilization and born via a surrogate. Some have gone so far as to say that there may be no Archie or Lilibet at all, accusing the Sussexes of using lifelike baby dolls during rare public appearances with their children. This news report of Spare Me Harry's description of delivering baby Lily could also fit the scenario where he helps deliver the newborn from a surrogate and then immediately places baby with Meghan. Harry also shared the food that himself and Meghan enjoyed as they arrived at the hospital, fajitas for the mother-to-be and a burger and fries from In-N-Out, and how the pair performed a little dance after their meals. On what planet or hospital would they allow a woman to eat a fajita while in labour? No mum in labour is allowed to eat. Someone pointed out that there's no In-N-Out burger in Santa Barbara anyway. The closest one would be Galetta, but it's always really crowded because there's a university there, and it's a good 15 minute drive from the hospital. It's not in between the hospital and Montecito, you'd have to go another 15 minutes north. One person commented, it does sound very surrogacy-ish. Why would he need permission from his wife unless it was another woman's hoo-ha he was about to go face to face with? The second added, surrogate 100%. Oh, his story, his truth, but it's all half ass truth. There's a part in the Netflix drama that shows Meg in a hospital bed holding Lily. The problem is, she's in normal clothes. We've all seen videos of celebs when they receive the baby from the surrogate. The surrogate hospital protocol has a hospital gown, but the new mum wears whatever she needs to feel comfortable. The third said, It sounds like a C-section or a surrogacy. I just don't think, given she was considered geriatric, that she'd go through another pregnancy, especially if she truly had a miscarriage a month or two earlier. I think she used a surrogate. Meanwhile, Lady C came right out and said Megan has no idea what it's like to be pregnant and experience pregnancy hormones. None. She said this verbatim after saying how nasty her baby brain comment was to Catherine. She then again made reference to this secret that was going to come out, so not birthing the kids can't be the secret. She's now said Megan didn't birth the kids, but she did go on to say a word and said it in a way that emphasised whore. This was a very odd way to say the word. Is she dropping a clue that the secret is Megan was a whore?